How many of our subscribers and viewers have a water problem where they don't know where to take the water to? It's one of the biggest dilemmas. So you're trying to fix this water problem. Where can you take the water to when you don't have a storm drain? Well, me and the men, we build all kinds of systems. A lot of them are really custom. Some of them are pretty complex and our channel's meant for the DIYer. So we don't get into the real crazy stuff, but you know what? Um, leach fields, I think the DIY guy can handle. So we're gonna take you out in the field and I'm gonna show you some of the work that the men and I did this summer. Stay tuned. Everybody's always wondering, what do you do if your ditch don't drain? What do you do if you have no storm drain? And people see a ton of our videos where we just take everything to a storm drain, but we never show all the more oh, advanced, I guess. So we're going to start opening up a chapter, and it's going to help a lot of DIYers. We build a lot of leach fields, and we have a really nice kit now for the DIY. It's a hundred feet of six inch knife cut, virgin yellow, Boffman tile. It's the heaviest six inch single wall pipe you'll ever come across. And that's why I always call it the Boffman tiles mini culvert pipe. It's just that strong. So we have a giant, giant six inch uh, manifold for the leach fields too. We were running some downspouts as well. And people always ask, give me a hard number, Bob. How far should I run this away from my house? You know, just get it past 20 feet, you know, 22, 23, 24 feet, just get it past 20 feet. That's all I can tell you is it is proven that through capillary action, water can make it to the foundation of your home up to 20 feet. So just get it past 20 feet. So we had an active sump system here, and the gentleman was just tired of his ditch always being hard to mow. He'd get the lawnmower stuck. It was always muddy. Matter of fact, they ran a French drain down the ditch, and, you know, it did a, a little something, but it just kind of moved the water problem. That's all. So... I told them, look, we just need to do a leach field and let all that water soak in to the entire front yard. Now, leach field's got to be level. Make sure it's level, completely level. You can't have the water all leaning to one side in the leach field. Leach field is level. So we're going to have a sump line come to this manifold, this giant dual wall culvert pipe, Boffman tiles, dual wall culvert pipe. Got a nice six-inch manifold there. And we're going to end up running some of the knife cut. Now, we're putting 8-ounce fabric down. This gentleman, he wanted to handle, you know, this once and for all. And he was the kind of man that when he leaves this earth, he wants to know that the next guy is not going to be burdened like he was. So we own with 8-ounce fabric for this leach field installation. And I do recommend it. If you can afford it, if it's in the budget, I definitely recommend it. So 8-ounce fabric is basically going to last forever, period. And when you're using Boffman tile, the yellow, when you're using the yellow or the blue, that's virgin pipe, and it's going to last for 200 years to 500 years. So that's saying something. So here's, you know, the topographical view of this leach field. So you can see what I'm doing, how I design this. I have a level leach field I'm pumping all the water to. Think about it. The water's going to soak into the front yard it has to dissipate all the way to the ditch the water by the time it gets to the ditch it's not going to be in high concentration like it was before so he can mow his ditch it's not going to be a muddy mess so what the, the guys do it's a giant burrito wrap you know we have these huge six inch chambers that holds all the water the knife cut and if you want to hold even more water, use big stone. For a leach field that you're trying to build to hold, you know, hold a lot of water, you know, you can use two inch if you can find two inch at a good price of just about anything. 
you know, go ahead. You know, you got big voids. Know this, though. A leach field is going to dry your yard out. Like, you're going to be watering that lawn during the dry months, wherever that leach field is. So we try to put a lot of the dirt that, you know, we dug out, we try to put that back over top of it because we already know we got to give the grass, you know, six to eight inches of good soil underneath it so that it's not a burden to the homeowner. So look at the work the, this crew does. I love this crew. This crew is amazing. I mean, you can't even tell we were there, and that was, you know, quite a bit of work, quite a bit of soil disturbance, but just another great job by, you know, an, a veteran ace crew. I can't say enough about this talented crew. I'm so fortunate to have them, love them. This is the shortened version of of this job. If you buy our leach field kit, I'll have the complete A through Z. It's about a 30 minute uh, video. So it gives you all the details so that the DIYer is going to get some extra help on our end. And I also did another video of another job and it also is, you know, close to 30 minutes, but it's all the details. So it gives you the confidence as a DIYer, as a homeowner to go ahead, purchase this kit and um, we'll then, you know, email you the videos that you need so that you can digest all the information. And honestly, you know, it's really, really easy to follow. You know, I made it easy for the DIYer to follow. All right, so I'm going to leave a link to our store in the description of this video so that you guys can purchase that kit if you need the kit. But I want you to stay to the end here because what I'm going to show you next, I'm going to show you how a leach field works. I'm going to load regular perforated pipe like a four slot staggered or an eight slot and show you how water just pours right out and you need knife cut where there's no material removed. So that way the water could run through the entire system all the way to the very end and the water it will then slowly just dissipate into the subsoil these chambers actually hold the water and the knife cut what knife cut is it's a pipe that literally had a blade in manufacturing just make a slit in it and that's it so it's got knife cuts around it no material was ground out no saw cuts because that's what four slot staggered is or eight slot material has been removed and ground right out so that's not a good leach field what happens is you know if you try to use that for a leach field the water just pours right out all of a sudden and it just makes a soggy mess so you have to have the knife cut to do the leach fields i'll show you the demonstration so that you can see how it works Yeah, the eight slot just pours out, I mean, just like a sieve. I mean, that's, all the water just pours out. Yeah, it's, so it doesn't get a chance to travel the length of the leach field. That's why you build a leach field, so that you disperse the water over a large area. We've been selling a lot of the leach field manifolds. My concern is people are not buying them with the knife cut. So we're going to do the same thing with the knife cut, and we'll show you the difference. Let's see what the knife cut does. Ready? Yep. All right, so the knife cut doesn't have material ground out, like four slot staggered or eight slot. It lives up to its name. It just has cuts in it. No material removed. The water travels the whole length of the leach field through these four pipes and it's dispersed evenly throughout the leach field. Let's pick that manifold up like you did. You can see the difference in the knife cut versus the eight slot. Now again, this is for dispersal. We use the eight slot for collection. I just want to clarify that with all our subscribers.